This is where this is where the parking lot is. That's where the trail comes out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. Come on. We're gonna get onto an old Jeep road that is no longer used. He's anxious, but it's uh, been a heck of a morning, so. And here, locked off by lots of big boulders, is our Jeep road. Believe it or not, this opens up into an awesome extra hiking trail. And it's wide, and it's easy to walk. And since I picked such a hard trail last year, I really wanted to pick a good one, a nice one this year. Disabled Hiker. Episode four. Well, it's been a long night for me. I've been up most of the night with pain issues. And I, I came this close to canceling, this close. But I'm glad I didn't because I already feel a little bit better. I got here a little late, so <clears throat> I, I need to keep the monologue short here. This is a different trail. Only five miles away from the trail I traveled last year on episode three. It parallels the Appalachian Trail, but if you know how to find it, it is one of the most beautiful trails as far as it's easy. It's easy on a on a disabled hiker scale. I would put it at a four maximum. Um, there's some climbing, you know, like you know, some some little rocks you got to navigate and stuff like that. But overall, it's a really really easy trail. For years now, what I've been doing is hiking water and food in, stashing it and then coming back in a day or so, hike in and enjoy myself. Most people do not know about this little piece of trail, but it is a very good trail and I think you'll like it a lot. I have a lot of new equipment to show, I really do. I contacted some hiking gear manufacturers who really stepped up to the plate and sent me some items that are, in my mind, they are disabled hiker friendly and I love it. I love the fact that these companies are thinking about us. You know, these things are beneficial to us. And it was nice to have the support from them to, to say, yes, you know, please show my product. This is, this, this should work for you. So, onward. Here you go. Okay. Hook, hook. 
I went to bed last night at around 11 o'clock. And around maybe 12, 12.30, I woke up in horrible pain. Absolutely horrible. And, uh, and then my anxiety kicked in. I've been dealing with anxiety the last few years. bear here, there's deer, there's turkey. The last time I was here I even saw signs of, of lynx or bobcat. Not quite sure which, but nice. I really like that. Birds are chirping. Couldn't ask for a better day. We're actually going to a, a different campsite than I usually use little place that my son and I have dubbed Three Fingers. As usually when I'm filming, I'm one sticking it. But a little later on I have a rig I'm going to actually strap on my chest to actually show you a little bit of what it's like. If I feel okay tomorrow after pulling this all morning and into the afternoon. I'll try to do a little farther. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. Because I'm not only testing out the gear, I'm testing out me. But I'm not overdoing it. I need to just take a lot of breaks and not take anything for granted here. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you a little bit of the scenery here. I'm at the halfway point. Took me about two hours to get here. A little longer than I expected. I really kind of expected to be here in about an hour. But uh, I'm really sore. So I'm, I'm taking it slow. I'm not out here to beat myself up. Beautiful day, beautiful weather, beautiful company, what more could I ask for?